We celebrate the solemnity of Christ, the King of the universe. We are talking about the kingship of He who is, who was, and who is to come. We are not talking about somebody who was born to become a king. No, we are talking about a person who was born a king. He was, he is, and he will always be king. The king of the universe. In fact, there are three ways through which a person acquires a name or a title. Either by inheritance, the person is born into that name, or by confirmment that an institution or a constituted authority confers a title or a name upon a person, or by conquest. In all these three, our Lord Jesus Christ received that name by confirmment, by inheritance, and by conquest, the King of the universe. Talking about inheritance, the Lord Jesus, the only begotten Son of the Eternal Father, is the same with His Eternal Father. He shares the same substance with the Father and the Holy Spirit. He was born a king. In fact, in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 2, from verse 2, the kings from the east, the Magi, came into Bethlehem, asking one question. Where is the king, the newborn king of the Jews? When he stood before Pilate, and Pilate wondered in admiration and confusion as well, and he asked him, are you a king? He said, for you have said so. For this reason I was born, that I may be witness to the truth. He is king by inheritance, because he is one with his eternal father. He said in the Gospel of John, as the eternal father is the source of life, so he has granted to his son to become the source of life, so that he could give life to all those who believe in him. We call Jesus Hamelech, that is the king, and in another version we call him Melech Hamashiach, the anointed king, the only one anointed. In the Gospel of John, our Lord Jesus speaks of himself as the one the eternal father has anointed and consecrated and sent into the world. By the Holy Spirit he was anointed. He is the King. He is our King. He is our Lord. He is our Savior, whether we know it or not.